use snail with rancher boots because it will boost it. Doesn't that like not matter? I'm already gonna have 400% speed, so like rancher boots isn't gonna give more. The max is 400. Unless the speed cap is ignored. I hit the speed cap when I use this, right? 400% speed. Now, if I use a snail while holding the rogue sword, 126.5. Oh, hello, hello. Hey, chat, wait a minute. Hmm, 165. So it is a little screwy. So if I set the speed cap to like 500, 400, max is at four. Excuse me? Huh? That doesn't make sense. Well, 250. Whoo! Tuning points in the speed. Are we really doing this right now? Okay. <laughs> All right. You know what? I'll entertain the concept. Almost 300. What the heck? This is magic speed. <laughs> I don't know where the speed's coming from, but, uh, mmm. Obby chest plate. 320. What? Is there an actual reason to have speedster armor? How much speed does speedster give? Because young dragon armor has the full set bonus, right? But if I'm using ranger boots and a obby chest plate plus 15 speed, it's not good. 320 seems to be the max that I can get. So I've been seeing some people in chat say that the max is 400. That's insane. 400 mining fortune is a 5x in drops. Oh, my screen is blocking pet level. I'm sorry, but you can still see it at the bottom. Obby Chestplate has an actual freaking use? That's insane, bro. So here's the deal. I need to get a shovel that can instamine mycelium. Now I'm not gonna do this for an extended period of time. This is merely a test. I have mostly Obby in my inventory right now. I do need a helmet to give speed though. Wise Mineral gives 12 speed is better than nothing this is such a weird setup mineral helmet it is and since we have a nether sack it'll hold a lot of this all right so for one minute exactly i am going to do this five four three two one stop 1578 per minute times 60 94,680 per hour divided by 160. That is nine stacks and 16 enchanted mycelium per hour. Not bad for a manual method. And that's 95,000 collection, which means in an hour, I would get gauntlet recipe. That is what I'm talking about right there. One hour to get the Gauntlet of Contagion recipe? That is a massive W. We need to get a Young Dragon Helmet. That would be better than this mineral one by like eight speed. We need to put Candied on the Rancher Boots because there is no Reforge that helps with farming stuff, so might as well. Um, Obby Chestplate could also put Candied on it. And we're gonna leave this because I don't wanna touch that. That's for my Dugan stuff. Rod of Champions recipe, let's go. I know this is all so random and like, <laughs> the theme of whatever episode this turns into is gonna be like, just so disorganized, but I don't care. Me of the future will care when I need to make titles, but that version of me is, uh, sorry, buddy. The struggle continues, I guess, for you, but for me, haha, -ha, me of the past, which is technically the present at the moment, but once you see this later in the editing is the past. Anyways, uh, I'm going to upgrade the fishing rod now. Rod of champion. Wait, does it really not increase in rarity? Are you freaking serious? So I get plus 15 mining speed and plus 2% sea creature chance. That's really disappointing, actually. Why is it not rare? Are you serious? Why with fishing? It's like you get a reforge worth like 8 million coins plus less than 1% sea creature chance you spend a million coins for lucky dice plus two percent sea creature chance and no fishing speed why <gasps> please
please? Wait. What the hell? What? I've never seen this. Hey, you, help me. I'm stuck. I fell asleep, and when I woke up, I was too large to fit the entrance. Maybe you can punch me out. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. Thank you so much. I stayed there for weeks. You freed me and helped me find the love of my life. Take this offering in return. First thing I see when clicking on the stream is uh, the man eating what I can only assume to be an entire pie and talking about onions. <laughs> so weird champ decision for this stage of the game, but I'm thinking we go here. Blazes make me cry. Do I purchase a moody grapple shot to half the HP of a blaze and then voodoo doll it? and then try for netherrack looking sunshade. I have the coin. What does netherrack looking sunshade even do? It makes it so you don't get killed by dive guests. Well, you still do, but it makes it so they don't target you. So like someone can still bomb you. But if I can half the health of blazes, here's the other thing. Not only will it work with netherrack looking sunshade, but I can use it on the blazes in there to group them together to then voodoo doll and potentially not only one tap all of them, but also one tap basils and mutated blazes. That's my thought process. And if all the mobs are bunched together, there's a good chance that each time I use the voodoo doll, it will hit multiple mobs. So I'm thinking this is gonna be worth it. Anyways, here it is. All right, let's give it a shot then. Smoldering blaze. Has it always made that noise? 300 and yo, it's taking so much damage. The grapple shot's kind of goaded, actually. Wait, why did the damage go down? I noticed we had one tick that was 200k. Now let's test this theory. Yeah, I got them both. I got them both with the same um, voodoo doll shot. That's not bad. Got them again. Honestly, this is kind of big brain. Yeah, now look at them. Now they're not taking increased damage anymore. They still died though. It's astronaut helmet as the head, so it's the right way. Oh. So apparently the damage boost lasts like five to 10 seconds. Good to know, I guess. So we are getting an RNG chance every time I do this for um, Netherrack, Netherrack looking sunshade. Now the question is, is it worth the grind? It's like a certain percentage chance, right? If it's like a 1% chance, wow, it's 0.1%. So I would have to kill a thousand of them if that's the case. Yeah, that doesn't sound worth it. I'm gonna be honest with you. Well, I guess we're done with that. <laughs> what is my RNG? You know, I was about to just be like, okay, let's just seriously though let's just stop and do something else i was about to say that i was about to be like yeah it's not worth my time i don't do the enough damage okay sure that was like what my fifth sixth smoldering blaze i killed seven of them and got a talisman so chat now that i have bits expertise this is going to be my fishing rod for the rest of this profile after all so we might as well give it expertise yes Rune crafting 25, is that a max skill? Oh, cha I got max rune crafting. 23 out of 36. Wow, that was fast. I only need 13 more. We well, might be able to get Gauntlet of Contagion if I keep doing this. Yeah, I think for now that's going to be the last one. How many more do I need, though? We need seven more. Yeah, that's not happening. About to get the big one mil. Hey, look at that. We hit combat 37 and battle pet level 90. Hmm, GG. Now that we've done that, it is time for Duke. I always do slash playtime, like... <gasps> Why am I so low? Ah, oh, it's a fail! Run, 
Run, run. Run! Woo! Run! How am I alive? I need a better wand now! Honestly, not a bad performance, but I think we're I think we're done. So we got our five dailies in, got to cat of 19. I believe we started this at cat of 17, so we went up two levels. Pog. Hi, welcome back to another 30 virus stream. Uh, Spooky Festival just started. It is the next day from the previous stream. I already missed three minutes of Spooky, but we're here. I need to get my wither gourds or whatever the pumpkins are called. Blast the lanterns, ow. Are you gonna stop streaming after Spooky? No. So I have a few things on my to-do list today. I wanna get replenish books. I wanna get hot potato books. I'm basically prepping for Aatrox. And we're also, as it turns out, there's gonna be a marina shark festival at the same time as Spooky fishing. This has happened only once before for me. So it's happening again. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna get a double a dubby i'm not saying that again oh yeah so i did show up in an hs fearless video he did a sky crypt review that was very short actually funny story talked to purity virus yesterday in my stream he is actually like a little bit over a month old profile and he hit farming 50 like guys look at these skills i can respect the grind guys this is what i want to see okay yeah, the fishing's pretty low, but he's gonna get there. We talked about it. This is what I want to see on an Ironman. Farming is really important. And then you do go into mining, which is his next project. It's like perfect to do this. Okay, we don't look at talismans, so you can work on that. But that was cool. I was talking to him on stream the other day, and then he made a video, and he, uh, he showed my skills and was very impressed with the grind. And then he said my talismans weren't that great, which, to be fair, you know, I... Yeah, but Iron Man progression does make getting talismans a lot more difficult than normal. So I'm working on it. I'm looking into it, you know. I got a lot of ideas, especially with uh, Slayer. That's part of why I'm tryharding um, Aatrox so much. Well, you wouldn't think so, but I'm starting the prep today. You'll see my plan in action. But yeah, I'm planning on tryharding the crap out of Aatrox because... There's about, I don't know, five or six talismans and upgrades available to me if I just grind Slayer to eight of everything. So I'm hoping to even get Hunter Ring, maybe. That's like if I've done everything else. Or not Hunter Ring, Hunter Talisman. Ring I'll do way later, but at least the talisman I want to try for. Cat Pet is on the way, although I, um, I don't think I'm going to be able to afford it after today's Spooky probably next spooky but i don't really need it right now the pet is nice but like it's only useful once it's like level 100 legendary well it's of course it's legendary with a lucky clover and even then g drag will eventually be better it's really just for completion of the game at this point but yeah it is the most expensive thing i have yet to purchase and then we're gonna have to attend many a spooky festival in order to get sugar rush on all of my favorite armors and for now I'm getting Sugar Rush 3 for my Rancher Boots for use with grinding with the snail pet because apparently extra speed matters even though my speed is capped at 100. The snail has a maximum of 300 mining fortune on non or blocks including flint which is huge because that's what we need if we're going to max out Tarantula Slayer. If I wanted to get Tarantula Silk going or um, whatever it's called fly catchers for all my minions if i wanted to do that then obviously i'm gonna need a lot of flint so snail pet is a big priority on this profile five times drops for those that weren't aware on those kind of blocks there we go g drag doesn't have pet luck okay so there'd be one niche use is that i would keep the cat pet out while crafting other pets and you know i've already crafted most of the important pets all we have left to craft is like Zombie Pigman, Jerry, Spider, all the pets that don't really matter, all the ones that do matter, I already made. 